Honing County prosecutor. Time may be running out for Congress to come up with a deal on their budget, but the patience of voters ran short a while ago. Some of those voters were in Boardman this afternoon, as was Jerry Ricciuti. He joins us here now in the studio with more on their frustrations. Hi, Jerry. Hi, Teresa and Dave. Well, voters worry about the potential loss of some of their government benefits. One local expert believes the budget debate in Washington is placing many lawmakers in a very painful position. Frustrated by what they hear and see coming from Washington these days, voters turned out this afternoon for what Congressman Bill Johnson's staff call one of their open doors meetings in Boardman. Most of them came to vent. And I'll tell you what, it's really hard to deal with the amount of money that I get. And welfare helps me very little. And I have a hard time buying food. A number of this group are involved with the Mahoning Valley Organizing Collaborative, questioning Johnson's stance on rumored cuts to Social Security. What is the truth? You know, what is the truth? What, what is going on here? Leave Social Security alone. At the same time as today's meeting, Johnson was on Capitol Hill, leading a session in the House as lawmakers struggle to come up with a deal on the national budget and the debt ceiling, something they realize is bound to leave some voters upset. There's really no safe position to be in here, and that's not where a politician wants to be. Um, this is a no-win situation. While Sarasic thinks Republicans may have something of an advantage in pressing for spending cuts as lawmakers lurch toward an August deadline, he tells me those trying to hammer out a deal both sides can agree on will simply find themselves caught in the middle. We don't live in the age of political compromise. Um, you've got the extremes of both sides. So if you compromise, what happens is you end up getting run over by both sides. Everybody hates you. Although the congressman's staff say Johnson was never actually scheduled to be at today's event, they are working to set up a public town hall meeting for next month in Salem where constituents will have the chance to share their views with Johnson in person. Teresa? All right. Thank you very much, Jerry.